probably helpful to look at how to leverage building an analytics funnel in Amplitude. What you're seeing now here, we're actually on an experiment results page. This is a similar company to like a Spotify, right? So it's a music streaming company where you can create an account, you can search for a song or a video, you can play the song or video. The end all goal is for you to purchase a concert ticket. When you click on this blue create button, there's a lot of different charts that we can build. And so for our purposes, I'd like to start with the journeys chart first, and then from that, we then kind of turn that into a funnel, which I'll show you in a little bit. So let's click on journeys because we basically want to start building a journey, maybe with some main or major steps that our customers typically take. So for this, let's add a search for a song or video. That would be step number one. It's already starting to build a journey. The idea here is for us to take a look at some of the main steps. I'm going to click on more. This is sort of the generic way to start building a journey. So you can either start with the very first step, right? Typing in that corresponding um, event, or what, you, what we could also do is we actually insert in the last step, which is we want them to purchase a ticket. So that is the ultimate goal. What we can do is the reverse. So this is our end goal. We want our customers to purchase a ticket, concert ticket. So then if we do use the last step, we can go into the drop down menu here and click on ending with so that we're essentially saying, okay, show me all the different ways that our customers are getting to purchase ticket. We are now seeing the four main steps that typically customers are taking before they purchase a ticket. So what we're most interested in, right before purchasing a ticket, the customer is on the concert landing screen and typically once they're on the concert landing screen pretty much we can kind of round up right to 100 pretty much all of them then end up purchasing a ticket there's probably not too much opportunity between step four and step five however if you did look over here between play a song and the concert landing screen, we do have pretty significant difference. And this is where we could potentially see some opportunities. This kind of gives us a very high level idea. Okay, there's probably some opportunities in some of the prior steps, but it's probably pretty safe to assume that, okay, our UI probably works pretty well from once a customer lands on a concert landing screen, most of them actually end up purchasing a ticket. But what I'm gonna do from here is I am going to turn our journey into a funnel. If you hover over any of these steps and click on it, this is going to give you the option to create a funnel using the steps. So it'll auto-generate for you. So I'm picking search song or video to then auto create a funnel for us. It looks like the biggest drop off is between play song or video and concert landing screen. And this is also an example of where there's potentially some ideas or in the UI or something's not, a, not clear or something is potentially detracting the customer from going to that concert landing screen. So then this is where we've essentially identified, okay, around here, the last three step is, uh, three steps is probably where we want to focus. So now we are looking at just the remaining steps and trying to see, okay, what is actually preventing the customer from going from playing a song or video and then going to a concert landing screen. This is where I would typically ask the client or if I'm the one trying to come up with an experiment idea to ask, okay, now that we found a potential area of opportunity, what are some of the customer segmentations that we can then further study, right? So for example, it could be key target personas of customers. It could be different subscription packages that you offer customers, or it could be new versus return, right? It could be someone's first time visiting our site or music streaming. So that's where you can then add different customer segmentations. I'm not really sure what data is in here. I think that would be the next step for you to hone in even more. So that could be a, a use case where you do identify our segments and further apply our segments here. And, and of course, this 
assumes that you have the right data that you can filter by and then be able to see potentially, hey, then maybe we want to run an experiment only in Europe to increase our conversion from playing a song or a video then to going to the concert landing screen. And I would say the biggest difference between leveraging a journey versus funnel is that journey gives you the very high level, right? But then funnel gives you the ability to really drill in deeper to study your, your customers. Thank you.